Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you quickly how to use the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. Um, this test kit I really recommend um, if you're setting up a tank or cycling a tank. Um, and just for ongoing maintenance to really keep an eye on all the different um, tests that you need to do in your tank. Um, so these, these kits have everything. So um, you have tests for pH. Um, there's ammonia, which is actually, um, there's two bottles for the ammonia test. There is a high pH range. Some fish require a higher pH. Um, the tank I'm cycling at the minute, um, in fact, none of the tanks I have I would use this for, but some fish do require this and it's there um, if you need it. Also, there's a nitrite test, and then there's two for nitrates. So, at the minute I'm cycling uh, one of my smaller tanks, and um, I thought this would be a good time just to, to show you how to use the test kit. Um, and for myself to find out whereabouts in the nitrogen cycle my, my tank is. So um, you have your and on the back there's this chart um, which comes with kit and that basically allows you to know um, if there's pH, ammonia, nitrate and nitrate based on the colour that you get from your test samples um, you can find out the concentration of each of those things in your tank. So as you can see I've got four test tubes here um, you can see there's a wee line, and again these are all in the kit. Um, so I've filled up four of them with tank water. Um, and I'll just show you how to use each of the tests in turn. So the first one is pH. So if I just take the, the top off, um, and there's a, a detailed book that comes with it to tell you how to do each test, but it also as a handy reminder on the bottle as well. So you'll see in pH it just says add three, and it's as simple as that. So just add three drops and put the cap on and just give it a quick shake and then you can just leave that that's it. Um, our next one we'll test for is ammonia there's a wee bit more to that so if you get your ammonia one bottle and you'll see it says add eight so just give it a quick shake and so we'll add eight drops. And it is hand there if you um, hold the ball directly upside down. Um, it helps the drops to come out more evenly. Um, so that's the first ball, then ammonia two, and again it's eight drops. Just give that a quick shake. Five, six, eight. Okay, that's the ammonia test again. Put the cap on and just shake that. Just shake it for five or ten seconds. And we'll let that one sit. So you can see the color development as it's sitting there. Um, so the next one we'll test for is nitrites. Oh, nearly dropped it. And just shake the ball, and this time you'll see that it says add five. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, you just shake this one for five seconds. We'll leave that one, and then the final one is nitrates. So. This is probably the most complicated of them all, and um, particularly there's two bottles for this one, and the second bottle sometimes um, you need to shake it quite violently, um, just to it can go a bit solid inside. So um, the first thing to do is, um, and again this is so we start with the bottle one, and you add ten drops, so you can just shake it. So 10, right. and it's important to cap this and just invert it a few times. 
for the nitrate five or six times and then as I said for the bottle number two I, I've sh shook it up a wee bit before doing the video but I would just really I'd even um, hit it off something a few times just to loosen up everything that's inside it and again as it says on the bottle it's a 10 so And then for this one again, you have to actually shake it for around 60 seconds to get a true result. So, um, now I'll probably not do it for this video for the whole 60 seconds, but um, to get a proper result, um, that's what it recommends in the instructions. So, we'll see what turns up. So. You can see the four test tubes have been developed in there for quite a while. Um, so we'll start with pH. So again, it's good to get into a well lit room. Um, and if you look at this color here, you'll see that if we try to match it up on the chart, um, you see that it's around um, in between the 7.2 and the 7.6 in the scale, um, which is just slightly. Um, um, slightly higher than the, the pH of 7, but nothing risky um, at the minute or anything to worry about. Um, the ammonia. So I'll say as I, I'm cycling the tank and there's ammonia in there. So looking at that, again that's probably, looks higher than 2, it's probably 4 ppm for the ammonia. So um, you don't want to get it any higher than that really because it can actually halt the, the nitrogen cycle. So we'll probably maybe do a water change there, um, so that the nitrogen cycle doesn't stall. Um, now this is what I want to see. I want to see nitrites so that I know that my the cycling process is is happening. And looking at that again on the scale, you see that's probably around two two ppm, um, which is good. That's what we want to see. And then what we really want to see here is. Um, that's just off yellow, which means it's the nitrites or sorry nitrates are just starting to form. So what does this tell us? Well, very quickly, um, the nitrogen cycle is basically um, decaying fish food or fish waste um, will produce ammonia, uh, but that is uh, toxic to fish. Um, and that's the first thing to be produced but then as bacteria grows it converts that to nitrites which is what this is testing for again though nitrites are harmful to fish and over time more bacteria well well good the best bacteria will change the nitrites into nitrates which is what this test is for and what we really want to see and um, so once enough nitrites is formed they'll convert all the ammonia, the complete cycle of the ammonia, and then once enough nitrates are formed, um, that means that the the nitrates are being fully cycled as well, and you want to get that balance. So you want to keep testing every day until there's no ammonia, no nitrites, and you're getting just nitrates. But um, you don't want there to be too many nitrates either, um, and that's where your water changes come in. But but that stage when your tank is cycled. Um, it's a lot easier to look after and nitrates aren't um, harmful to fish in low concentrations so um, that's basically how to use the kit, it's a great kit I'd advise anybody to get one um, just to keep an eye on the parameters of your tank um, it's very easy to use and hopefully that explains um, how you do each of the tests uh, good luck with all your fish keeping hobby